Up until Dominic was three years old, he was your regular average little boy running around getting into everything. It was 9.30 a.m. on September 21st of 2018 that I got to work, got to my desk, was drinking my coffee, and I get a phone call from daycare. Your son just had a three-minute seizure at daycare. He's en route to a hospital, and how fast can you get there? By that evening, he was back to Dominic, running around, playing, but the next day he had another one. The neurologist confirmed that he has what's called Lennox-Gastaut syndrome. It's a severe, rare childhood onset epilepsy. From September to about the beginning of November, within two months, he was having hundreds of seizures a day. How could my normal son all of a sudden be suffering? He couldn't go to the grocery store. He couldn't go to school. He couldn't go to daycare. We had tried multiple medications. Nothing was working. The conversation we had at that time with his neurologist was, well, our next option is brain surgery, where they separate the hemispheres of the brain. And all I could think was, how did this, how did we get here? We decided at that point we would try one more medication. And we started what's called Epidiolex. He still has seizures now, but they're maybe one a day, two a day, versus hundreds and he can function now. His main wish was to be a worker man, kind of like his grandpa, his uncle. I knew that he was being picked up by the dump truck. What I didn't know was that the entire city of De Pere had gotten together with fire trucks and police cars. And when they came around the corner and the sirens started going, he's just, <laughs> I could see the expression on his face. He got to go in the, the really big dump truck with one of the worker men, and then we got to go in the parade behind him. And all I could think about was he was probably ahead of us, laughing and screaming and waving his arm out the window. To ride in a dump truck is probably every little boy's dream. We pulled up to the work site, going through safety orientation, we got our helmets, and then we started work. The happiness and hope that we got from this whole experience has been unbelievable. He feels like he can do these things when he's a grown-up. That's what he wants to do. It gave us something to do beyond hospital appointments, doctors, medicine, therapy. It just all melted into the background. I can't thank everyone enough for making these come true, especially during this challenging time. To be able to put this together in the middle of a pandemic for a little boy is just incredible. <laughs>